shot down. All right. You must be looking for the revolutionary, Maria Linda. You're the poet of the Rusty, aren't you? We found your poems in our pockets. Where is she? She's my fiance. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Romeo. We still got her. We'll be with her soon enough. Where? Auschwitz. What have we done? It's not what you've done. Who you are! too cramped. A man lives in the house. He plays with his vipers. He writes. He writes when it grows dark to Deutschland. Your golden hair, Marguerite. He writes it and steps out of doors and the stars are all sparkling. He whistles his hounds to come close. He whistles his Jews into rows. Has some shovel a grave in the air. He orders us strike up and play for the dance. Like little cup day and we drink it every day. We drink it up in the morning, we drink it at night, and we drink and we drink and we drink. A man lives in the house, he plays with his vipers, he writes. He writes when it grows dark to Deutschland. Your golden hair, Marguerite. Your ashen hair, Shulamit. We shovel a grave in the sky. There, you won't feel too cramped. He shouts, jab the earth deeper. You there, you others, sing up and play. He, sh he grabs for the rod in his belt. He swings it, his eyes are blue. Jab your spades deeper. You others, play on for the dance. <laughs> in the house, your golden as ha, Marguerite, your ashen as ha, Shulamit. He plays with his vipers, he shouts, play death more sweetly, death is a master from Deutschland. He shouts, scrape your strings darker, you'll rise then in smoke to the sky, you'll have a grave then in the clouds, there you won't feel too cramped. Dein goldenes Haar, Marguerite. Dein ashenes Haar, Schulemit. <laughs> with his vipers and daydreams. Der Tod ist dein Meister aus Deutschland. Dein goldenes Haar, Marguerite. Dein ashenes Haar, Schulamit. Death is ein Meister aus Deutschland. His eye is blue. He shoots you with shot made of lead. Shoots you level and true. <laughs>
why. Why did we walk like meek sheep to the slaughterhouse? Why did we not fight back? What did we to lose? Nothing but our lives. Why did we not run away and hide? We might have had a chance to survive. Why did we walk deliberately and obediently into their clutches? I know why. Because we had faith in humanity. Because we did not really think that human beings were capable of committing such crimes. I don't like artists. <coughs> At the end, everybody looks the same. Fear and starvation are great levelers. There is no pecking order. There's nothing to peck. Those dying here, the lonely, forgotten by the world, our tongue becomes for them the language of an ancient planet until, when, when all is legend and many years have passed, on a new Campo de Fiori, rage will kindle at a poet's word. The world is ruled by neither justice nor morality. Crime is not punished, nor virtue rewarded. One is forgotten as quickly as the other. The world is ruled by a power! Never shall I forget that place Where all faith was destroyed Never shall I look Into a stranger's face All trust is lost All the world betrayed Again, I search for that gift in vain. But I'm set apart, the camp is with me still. Now all is ash and can't be regained. Never can I hear again. Sound of violins. If I hear their cry, I only see again. When the music stops, what happened then? Never must another feel.
And yet this deathly silence fills one's ears And no one slaps your face Or whips your back your eyes And no one weeps nor do the skies cry Even though we Undertaker. We walk wrong naked, the heat burns our skin. In Cyclone B, our suits are delousing. Cold killer of lice, people in gas chambers. This camp is sealed so tight. Sit legs dangling, bacon and bread we gnaw. Sent just a week ago from Warsaw Held by my mother's hand, dear Lord Where is she now? God knows And Henri, my French friend, dreams of French wine We'll get it from Strasbourg Transport the very next time Bring me some shoes with double soles, I ask Patience, I'll get you anything you want And what if there are no more cremos, I say I'll run out of people one of these days Stop talking nonsense, Henri replies We'd all starve to death if there's no one left to die Sweat-drenched men in bunks of eights and tens Nude with the bodies, the stink alone is hell. Rabbi will so desperately. Muslim falls and is pushed aside by Henri. Religion is the opium of the people, Henri shouts. If they didn't believe in God, they'd have smashed the cremos down. Why haven't you done it? I say rhetorically. Yeah, yeah. All he says back to me Faces, briefcases, and whips. 
We stand straight as the top SS arrive Discuss their mail from their children and their wives The bamboo whips snap impatient by their sides And then the transport comes and we hear the shouts Tiny barred windows, spill faces pushed out Terror-stricken women, exhausted men Give us water, give us air The bolts crack and the doors fall open Like fish cast out on the sand they appear What's going to happen to us, they say silently Camp law says to the end we must deceive A huge wave of people are brought it on the road Like a blind mad river trying to find a new bed But all they will find is the stench and the muck Loaded like cattle on the back of a truck The Red Cross van drives reassuringly beside But it carries the gas, will kill everyone Every man, woman and child You know Miss Cross on its back, red as blood Seems to dissolve in the sun SS, the woman commandant, colorless hair tied in a Nordic knot, gun at her side and with a rat-like smile, she's come to check out the new female crop, the lucky few taken to her room, where the boys from Zorna will shave their pretty heads. Laugh at the outside world modestly Before they fill her bed Pick up your child! Another SS man roars She so wants to live It's not mine, she cries Big Andre from Sebastopol grabs hold of her You bloody Jewess, would you run from your own child? Of the teeming crowd, a girl appears Soft blonde hair, she turns and stares at me Listen, tell me, where are they taking us? I see nothing I know, she says And four Canada men lug a giant swollen corpse Kicking children who howl like dogs They throw this mound of meat on the sick on top of the smothered and unconscious in the heat I wish to speak to the commandant, snaps an old man A young SS man laughs as he strikes him with a hand In half an hour you talk with the top commandant Make sure you greet him with the high little train, we find naked little bodies with bloated skins, looking like monsters with enormous heads. We carry them like chickens, several in each hand. Throw them on the truck, throw them with the women. The SS officer cries casually. He's more worried by his cigarette lighter which won't flame. A poor boy, a Jewish woman says, as I hand them with no shame. I'm not a good person, I say to Omri. Damn all these people. I feel no pity. It's natural, Omri says, is healthy, c'est logique. Everyone relieves their hate by turning on the weak. And just when I thought it was all over. 
another transport and then another train. I see a corpse by the hand, but the fingers close round mine. My heart pounds. My heart is like lead, and then it jumps in my throat. My nausea is deafening. My nobody knows. I begin to vomit, then like a drunk. I weave away past the rails. I lie on the metal and I dream of my bunk. Suddenly, I see the camp as a haven of peace. Others may be dying, but I've still strength and food for this living moment for today. It's a sweet Lights on the ramp still have a spectral glow. The wave of feverish people, on and on they flow. Most of them still think they're going to the washroom. They can't buy life with concealed gold. Experienced professionals probe every recess of their flesh. Pull diamonds from the colon and gold from the tongue. Gold teeth will soon be packed up in crates On the train bound for Berlin And for days the whole camp lives off this loot the Strasbourg transport was a good rich train, we say Great columns of smoke rise up in the sky The Black River flows over Birkenau It's a sweet I saw this old man carrying a brown paper parcel on his way to the gas chamber. I wondered what on earth could be so important about it. Then I realized it was like holding somebody's hand.
I remember your smile as elusive. A shade of the color of the wind. A leaf trembling on the edge of sun and shadow. Fleeting, yet always there. So you are for me today. In the sea green sky, the greenery and the leaf rustling wind. I feel you in every shadow, every movement, and you put the world around me like your arms. I feel the world as your body. You look into my eyes. And call me with the whole world. The shine of the moon will unite us tonight. <coughs> There were thin children, fat children, brown-eyed children, blue-eyed, green-eyed, wide-eyed children. You'd think it was harder to kill the children. It was easy. They were flung into the air for target practice, had their heads broken against the nearest wall. They bent others across their knees like twigs, snapping their backs. The lucky ones walked with their mothers to the gas. The children need not have died. The West was told about Auschwitz, but it was not a priority. Your great leaders turned down repeated pleas to bomb the railway lines or the camps themselves. We wouldn't have minded dying to save millions.
His hair is not shot through with light, is not parted by the breeze. This hair is not touched by any hand or any. I'm very lucky. In my camp, nobody gets gassed. They just work you to death. Or take you to Terrasifka Forest and shoot you. Take them out in the morning to the stone courtyard and put them up against the wall Five men, two of them very young The others middle-aged Nothing more can be said about these men As the platoon level their guns Suddenly everything appears in the garish light of obviousness so clear The cold, cold blue The yellow wall Instead of a horizon The black wire on the wall That is the moment When the five senses rebel they would gladly escape like rats from a sinking ship from this hill. Before the bullet reaches its destination, the eye will perceive its flight. The ear record a steely, steely rustle. The nostrils will be filled with biting smoke. A petal of blood will brush the palate. The touch will shrink and then slacken. Now they lie on the ground, covered up to their eyes in shadow, as the platoon walks away. Their button straps and their steel helmets I'm more alive than those lying beside the wall. I did not learn this today. I knew it before yesterday. So why have I been writing unimportant poems on flowers? What did the five men talk of? What did the five men say? The night before, the night before the execution. Of prophetic dreams, of an escapade in a brothel, of car parts, of a sea voyage, of how when he had spades he ought not to have led, 
of how vodka is best. After wine, you get a headache. Of girls, of fruit, of life. I did not learn this today. I knew it before yesterday. So why have I been writing unimportant poems on flowers? I did not learn this today. I knew it before yesterday. So why have I been writing unimportant poems on flowers? So one can use in poetry the names of Greek shepherds and one can attempt to catch the colour of the morning sky. One can write of love. Or once again, in dead earnest, offer the betrayed world. One hundred and fifty died in our camp. Nanino and I were the only ones who survived. We escaped because I was a painter and she made me take my brushes. She saved me and my painting saved us. The rest were shot like rats in pits. A picture I painted Nanino in the camp, painted by me New Year's Day, 1943. Pathetic and poignant and all I could give her. I remember the names of the 150 who died with a drawing. Years later, when Holocaust mourning became an industry, our little camp was not recognized. Too few atrocities, apparently. We were no match for aristocratic Auschwitz. How ironic is that? Even in death, the inmates of our camp were second best. But I have all their names, so I will tell you. It's the least I can do. Mrs. Lublin, Mr. Lublin, their eldest daughter, their second daughter, the youngest daughter, Marta, Mrs. Koifman, her daughter, Gertrude, her son-in-law, I forget his name, the grandchild, Mr. Jurgrau, Mrs. Jurgrau, Brigitte Jurgrau, December 1943 at Tarasivka. Dr. Arnold Goldenberg, Present. Ukrainian Jew Misha, Lotha Vogel Hut, Adele Vogel Hut, Luba, the Ukrainian Jewess, Present. Mr. Korn, Present. Mrs. Korn, Nee Besson, their son Musha, Weka Wallach, some other relative. The widow Mailer, Mrs. Locker. And we were all shot dead on the 10th of December, 
1943, Dr. Alter Auslander, Mrs. Stamler, Present. husband, Mr. Stamler, Present. Isaac Gruber, Present. the little daughter, Gruber, another daughter, Gruber, Present. Mr. Jablanoa, Present. Mrs. Jablanoa, Present. Mrs. Kudish, Present. Mr. Kudish, her husband, Truda Kudish, Rolf Kudish, and we were all shot dead on the 12th of December 1943 at Professor Hanna, Mrs. Hanna, the engineer Kleinman. Shut up! We don't need to hear the names of any more dead Jews. Remember Mikolovka! she said was the moment of undressing but she said was the moment of undressing but she said was the moment of undressing then exposed to their gaze she discovered everything about them, about them, about them. To make up for so much suffering, for those millions of miserable creatures who stare at us with horribly despairing eyes, it would take so much joy, oh God, that even a bountiful God would not have enough. Yet I believe that each deportee who has returned feels that he has no right to be unhappy. For behind us, in the camp, is the multitude of the dead who fix us with their crazed and envious eyes. Those millions of people envy us and wish they could shout, You fools! Don't you see that you are happy? Isn't it so? What did we ask of the living when we were like the dead? To think of us? To pray for us? Hmm. Mainly we cried out to them, Be happy! Be happy! Be happy, you who eat, and you who sleep, and you who dream! Be happy! You who live in fine apartments in ugly houses are in hovels Be happy You who have your loved ones and you who sit alone and dream and can we Be happy You who torture yourselves over metaphysical problems Be happy You who suffer because of your money worries Be happy you the sick who being cared for and you who care for them Be happy Oh how happy you who die a death as normal as life In hospital beds or in your homes Be happy All of you Millions of people Envy you
but each survivor has brought his camp back with him. He would like to run away, shielding his eyes with his arms in order not to see, howling in order not to hear. But the entire camp rises again slowly, for it has not been destroyed, and nothing has made up for a single day of suffering. So I want to bear witness for the tortured, for the gassed and the burned, for all the unknown and unnamed, already forgotten, dead. I think back on all the good times And I see your smiling face I can hardly believe you're missing And you've gone and you've left not a trace Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't be lost in the midst of time. There are questions. Did Borowski and Maria get to be happy ever after? What happened to me and Nanino? Who's she looking for? Where is Darfur anyway? If the Holocaust was a movie, who would be the good guy? So have a drink, enjoy your lives. After the interval, we'll show you more death in the name of entertainment. Good 
times And I see your smiling face I can hardly believe you're missing And you've gone and you've left not a trace Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Please, God, send me a sign. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't be lost in the mist of time. I came to an oasis a refugee camp where tens of thousands of people sheltered under a thousand no trees. See, under the first tree, I found Ekin, who had been shot in the neck and jaw. His brother, who had only been shot in the foot, had carried him for 49 days just to get here. Under the second tree, I found Tuna, whose parents had been killed in front of her, then stuffed into the village well to poison the local water supply. Then the ginger weed had captured the rest of her family, killing her husband, Mohammed. See, under the third tree, I found joy whose children and family had been killed in front of her. Then she had been gang raped and left mutilated in the desert. See, I searched for a thousand, a thousand trees that day, each one holding a new horror. I searched for my husband, Gio, for my family. They threw us out of Auschwitz. We were thrown from one camp to another, thrown like straw to the wind. I looked for Maria for three years. I had no idea if she was alive or dead. Others were forced to die. Now we were forced to live. So many died. But you survived. I'm sorry, I didn't do it on purpose. Before the war, I was a writer. After the war, I was a Holocaust writer, like it was some interesting new literary school. It defined us all. We were dead men talking. <laughs> I'm 24, led to slaughter, I survived. The following are empty synonyms, man and beast, love and hate, friend and foe, darkness and light. The way of killing men and beasts is the same. I've seen it. Truckfuls of chopped up men who will not be saved. Ideas are mere words. Virtue and crime. Truth and lies. Beauty, ugliness. Courage and cowardice. Virtue and crime, the way the same, I've seen it in a man who was both criminal and virtuous. I seek a teacher and a master, may he restore my sight. May he name objects and ideas and separate darkness from light. 
I seek a teacher and a master May he restore my sight May he name objects and ideas And separate darkness from the light I'm 24 Led to slaughter and survive I survive I survive Survived! We found each other. Right on your birthday, I got a card about you from the Polish Red Cross. You're in Sweden. So, we're going to be together. Just think, Maria, after so many years, so many camps, and you're going to be my wife! We'll probably have a little night lamp again, and... Conduct long conversations about poems, which, of course, I will write for you. Just think. I'll have you with me. You survived the camps. You're the same as before. No one can go completely mad. Tell me, is there some mystic strength in love that protects those who love each other? And do we exist as a result of it? I walk around Munich asphyxiated by love. We wandered. This is what we do. But where is home for us? After the war, we lived in France, Israel, Romania, Switzerland. My travels ended in Brighton. Hove, actually. <laughs> Palmyra Square. Not that it was any promised land, it was just where I lived until I died. My work still searches for a home. At the moment, it's in a dark basement at the University of Sussex. All my paintings and writings have been offered to many museums and universities, but my outpourings, like myself, are not the easiest company. His diaries, secretly written in English shorthand, we transcribed and offered to publishers. They turned him down, citing too few atrocities. But he could only write the truth, if not for the world, then for us. And for those who died, not atrociously enough, apparently. What a nice world. But mostly, we wanted to forget. We weren't guilty but like the raped, we felt somehow shamed. So we shut up. For years, we shut up. It's difficult when you hear never again turning into one more time. Shaking like a clockwork toy And spies are moving into Rama Asking for a baby boy Caesar is the father of Herod Herod is the father of us all And we'll be obedient Silent little children Or the moon will drop And the sun One must have warned the wanted mother She'll be hiding with her family And soldiers are marching through Rama Silently, obediently Caesar is the father of Herod Herod is the father of us all And we'll be obedient, silent little children
the whitewashed dallies of Roma Baby's bodies are bayoneted And Rachel is weeping in Roma And will not be comforted Caesar is the father of Herod Herod is the father of us all And will be obedient Silent little children All the moon will drop And the sun will fall Caesar's sleeping in his armored city Herod's sleeping in his swan's down Weeping in Rama and will not be comforted. Caesar is the father of Herod. Herod is the father of us all. And we'll be obedient, silent little children. All the moon will drop and the sun will Disadvantages. Well, we'll be well away from that boy. Definite advantages. Well away.
genocide of my fellow country. Just like before. Only now the uniforms are red, not black. Communists, not fascists. There is. My best friend Adam, who was arrested by the fascists in 1941, was now arrested by the communists in 1949. And I realized I didn't know anything for certain. And it all came back, like a wave to shore, a moment of doubt and turn. Now, Adam's fate, as the captain, I look into the sound of the clouds and I see above them the ashes of the sky. So, what do you Maria? Remember I'm alive, but don't come back to me. My love burned away in the flames of the crematorium. There you were mine. Your body, covered in scabies and boils, rose up like a cloud. There you were mine, from heaven, from fire. Now it's over. You won't come back to me, nor will that wind return, drunk with fog. The dead will not rise from common graves, and brittle ash won't come back to life. I don't want it. Don't come back. It was all play acting, a fiction, hollow theatrics. Your love circles above me like human smoke above the wind. How can anyone write poetry knowing what we know? <coughs> After Auschwitz and Katyn and all the fresh horrors the world throws up? <laughs> Remember your great poem, The moon will unite us tonight, my love. Can anyone still write a poem about moonshine? Easy. The moon shines, the street is bare, the moon shines, a man flees, the moon shines, a man falls, a man dies, the moon shines, the moon shines, the street is bare, a dead man's face, a puddle of water. Surviving's nothing for me to be proud of. It's simply what happens if you don't die. I can't forgive myself. To stay happy and optimistic after what I've done would be the choice of a madman. Do we all turn away? I can't be happy. Love conquers everything. And in songs, death conquers everything. Child. Hope and despair, always at loggerheads. Is bringing a child 
into this world really anything to celebrate? What will they see? What cruelty and horror? You take him. I've nothing to give. Nazi took at 8 a.m. a baby and sautéed him for breakfast in his frying pan and death looks on with a casual eye and scratches at the dirt underneath his fingernails. Man is evil, I say aloud. Man is a flower that should be burned, I say aloud. Man is a bird full of mud, I say aloud. And death looks on with a casual eye and scratches his anus. <laughs> Man, with his small pink toes, with his miraculous fingers, is not a temple, but an outhouse, I say aloud. Let man never again raise his teacup. Let man never again write a book. Let man never again put on his shoe. Let man never again raise his eyes on a soft July night. Never, never, never. I say these things aloud. We all get down, but you, we, you will get through it. There's, there's no point. Joan, I lost my husband and family too, and it was the hardest thing to bear. But you can't take your own life, so much life remains. You don't see I'm alone. Sunday is gloomy, my hours are slumberless. Dear as the shadows I live with are numberless Little white flowers will never awaken you Not where the black coach of sorrow has taken you Angels have no thoughts of ever returning you Would they be angry if I thought of joining Tuesday, gloomy Wednesday, gloomy Thursday, gloomy Friday, gloomy Saturday, gloomy Sunday. Gloomy is Sunday and shadows I'll spend it all. My heart and I have decided to end it all. Soon there'll be candles and prayers that I said I know. Let them not weep, let them know that I'm glad to go. Death is a dream, and in death I'm caressing you. With the last breath of my soul, I'll be blessing you. Gloom as someday.
You gotta get back from the ledge. I know, girl, I know you're on the edge, but just hold on. I'm not religious neither, nor drunk, but you gotta forgive yourself and all the other people too, else it might be better just to jump. I've been there too, Joan, much higher building than this one, and some do gotta said luck is what you make of it. You're just gonna survive. You gotta be positive. All I need is a little peace, all I need is a little rest. Not knowing makes me feel so restless. Search for eternity, I don't need sympathy. Hellish memories, they play themselves in front of me. Need inner peace. My family, I see these visions. I see these visions. I see these visions. I see these visions, they're clear as sin. Eternal fight. Remember what can happen in one night. Turn my life around, left my decimated town, find myself alone. Where is placed here? My God, what a dream I had The two of us, more passionate than ever Making love like the first couple on the house My God, what a dream I had Two of us more passionate than ever Making love like the first time Therefore, 2007. The genocide in my country is not ending and the situation is not improving. I'm safe here in Brighton, but my people, for all intents and purposes, have been abandoned. I've survived. I haven't killed myself. I still have some faith in humanity. You are, you good people, yet you do nothing. I am doing something. I've read about it. <laughs> Guardian. <coughs> there was a crying child. Blood dripped from his battered head, tears rolled down swollen purple cheeks. 
like streams over weathered stones. His tattered clothes, emaciated frame, cried out his misery. A Western aid worker sat by the boy's side. He reached his hand out to the boy's shoulder. The boy wailed, slapped him away. On legs like frightened cheetahs, he sprang from his sorry crouch, leaving a continent between them. I called out over the new void. Why do you run? I only want to help. Through tears, long betrayed eyes grew red with rage and knew. You beat me! You left me to die on this road! Why should I trust you now? My mouth dropped in certain surprise. Could this poor boy have even lost his mind? Why would I want to lay hands on a child? I called out to him. You mistake me for another. I'm not the man who beat you. Did you raise your voice? Lift a finger to the man who did? Huh? His eyes dared me to reply. I turned my face away. He smiled, though no joy poured forth from his shattered lips and swelling eyes. Then you are the one who beat me. Must we wait between Auschwitz and the first glimmer of hope? An eternity, perhaps? Are humans not more important than oil fields? 
We can build Jerusalem if we will it. But the moment we break faith with each other, seeing God in the light of the world. Yes, this life is fragile, it's futile. But we can turn the shriek of terror into a cry of hope. That's our story. I wasn't in it much in the second half. Well, I was only in Michalovka, which was a tiny camp. We offer no answers, merely set out the facts and sang a few songs. We provided the nails. You hammer them in. Shall I forget that place Where all faith was destroyed Never shall I look Into a stranger's face All trust is lost All the world betrayed Again, the sound of violins. If I hear their cry, I only see again. When the music stopped, what happened then? Never must another feel.